Hello guys, there is no doubt that the flyback converters are one of the most used DC to DC converters in the power electronics world. So far we have seen the wonders of continuous conduction mode and discontinuous conduction mode flyback converters in our previous videos. But there is one more type which comes between these two, which are known as QR flyback converters. We'll see what is exactly different in that, why we use it and what are its advantages. So let's start. The flyback converters are characterized based on the control and amount of power it can deliver. Usually for low output power applications, the flyback converter is the most widely used topology when galvanic isolation as well as multiple outputs are required because it has a low system cost and it is easy to design. It is used as the main power supply for low power appliances and devices. Mostly flyback converters work at fixed frequency. They can operate either in discontinuous conduction mode or continuous conduction mode. In DCM, the energy stored in the transformer is completely transferred to the secondary. In CCM, the energy is not completely transferred to the secondary. Therefore, the secondary current does not reach zero before the next switching cycle. This thing reduces the switching losses and improves the efficiency at lower load. Most of the flyback controllers which we get in the market operate in a single switching frequency across the whole load range. After the energy stored in the transformer, it is fully discharged to the secondary. Because of that, oscillation occurs across the MOSFET drain. This is caused by the primary inductance and the capacitance across the MOSFET drain to source. In our last video, we have seen the design of a green mode flyback SMPS which works on DCM mode. And you can see the ringing on the drain to source voltage waveforms. This voltage ringing depends on the reflected voltage and will produce these value points. This increases the electromagnetic noise and reduces the efficiency of the power supply. Well, to avoid this, we can use such a controller which will check these value points and turn on the MOSFET for quasi resonant or value switching flyback operation. This QR switching frequency is not fixed. It changes as per the load conditions. During this, the MOSFET is turned on again when its drain to source voltage is at the lowest point during the ringing, which decreases the switching loss of the MOSFET drastically. The QR resonance switching occurs at the first value switching across the MOSFET. Well, it is similar to zero voltage switching. It means when the voltage across the MOSFET is zero, after that it switches. We have already seen it in the resonant converter video series. You can watch it here. The resonant converter is a DC to DC converter circuit which uses resonant LC circuit. Switching in such a converter occurs when the sinusoidal shape voltage or current goes through zero, which is almost a lossless transition. The power waveforms of the resonant converters are sinusoidal. A QR converter is sort of like a resonant converter, but not exactly. I well, the power waveforms in a QR converter are not sinusoidal like in a resonant converter. A QR flyback has normal rectangular voltage and current waveforms. The difference between a QR flyback and a traditional flyback is simply that the irritating ringing caused by the circuit parasitics is put to some actual use. The quasi resonance happens after the core has lost its magnetic power during a pause called dead time. This ringing helps the controller to know when to start the next switching cycle. As there is no dead time in CCM flybacks, QR flybacks work in DCM or on the edge of DCM CCM operation which also has a fancy name called transition mode or critical conduction mode. We can see the difference between drain to source voltage waveform of a DCM flyback that does not switch on the resonant valley and a TM flyback that switches on the resonant valley. A QR converter is actually a soft switcher, 
It utilizes an available resonant LC circuit. The resonant ringing is generated by the primary inductance and the parasitic capacitance of the circuit. So its drawback of having parasitics is an advantage. There is no need to add inductors and capacitor because the circuit uses what is already there. As it is a soft switching method, it has many advantages. Most noteworthy advantage is the reduction of switching losses. Turning on the MOSFET at valley of the resonant ring, where the drain to source voltage is the lowest, gives us the lower switching losses. Another advantage to soft switching is that there will be less conducted and radiated electromagnetic interference. Now we'll compare the different types of flyback control modes and see which one is better. The fixed frequency DCM flyback, fixed frequency CCM flyback and quasi resonant flyback converter. First, if we consider conduction loss of the switching elements such as MOSFETs or diodes and winding loss of the transformer then the DCM mode will have the highest loss because of the high primary peak current. On the contrary, the CCM flyback has lower losses and lower primary peak current. Here, the QR flyback comes in between DCM and CCM in the case of conduction losses because it works on high frequency. So it will have lower peak currents. If we consider the secondary side rectifier diode and its reverse recovery loss, then the DCM flyback would have no loss at all because the current in this circuit falls to zero before its blocking state. The CCM flyback will have considerable loss because of the continuous current in this branch and the QR flyback will have a kind of zero reverse recovery loss because here also the current would fall to zero. But the DCM flyback will have lower MOSFET switching loss compared to CCM flyback because of the zero drain current during magnetization state. But on top of that, the QR flyback will have lowest switching loss because of the value point switching and zero drain current. The DCM mode and QR mode flyback would require a bigger output filter capacitor to mitigate the high output ripple current and voltage compared to CCM flyback. The transformer design for the DCM flyback and QR flyback is easier because of its similar size compared to CCM flyback. The feedback loop design is easy for the DCM mode flyback and QR flyback because of the smaller transformer. But it becomes hard for CCM based flyback because it requires slope compensation to minimize subharmonic oscillations. The DCM and CCM mode flyback has the fixed switching frequency. But the QR flyback has variable switching frequency because the controller of the converter adapts according to the value switching. The overall average frequency of the DCM mode flyback would be lower because of the higher conduction loss of the components. The efficiency of the CCM flyback would be higher and QR based flyback has the best efficiency result compared to DCM and CCM flyback. Does that mean QR flyback is better than CCM and DCM? Well, not really. Every mode has a particular type. Well, the DCM mode flyback works best when the output power requirement is less than 100 watts and its design will be easy. QR based flyback will have better efficiency than DCM flyback in the range of 100 watts, but it will be a bit complicated. And CCM based flyback converters are mostly used when we need power more than 100 watts. So QR flyback converters are pretty cool, right? They make use of that annoying ringing and make our system work smarter. Plus, they help reduce the noise and EMI, which means fewer headaches. Well, if you take a real life example, every man or woman has their own type. When it comes to dating, just like that, each power requirement has its own type. DCM is laid back buddy, QR flyback is cool kid and CCM, well, is a powerhouse. In next video, we'll dive even deeper into design of QR flyback converters. I've added all the references related to this topic in the description. While you are checking the reference, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. It's right over there. I'll see you next time. Till then, stay hungry, stay foolish.